गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर देवश्री गाडगे फ्रॉम द बी एम एस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी के टी ए सी एस ऑटोनॉमस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट हियर द टॉपिक ऑन फाइनेंस फॉर एच आर एंड कॉम्पनसेशन मैनेजमेंट एंड द टॉपिक इज लीगल एंड एथिकल इशूज इन कॉम्पनसेशन इट इज़ वेरी इट इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द लीगल एंड एथिकल इशूज इन कॉम्पनसेशन सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव सिलेक्टेड दिस टॉपिक दिस विल बी बेटर फॉर द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स so here i am going to start with the topic so first is a pay restructuring in mergers and acquisition so basically it is necessary to understand what is meant by restructuring restructuring is nothing but implementing the strategic change aimed at improving performance by reducing reducing the level of differentiation and integration and downsizing the number of employees to decrease operating cost so it is necessary to decrease the operating cost and that that is why basically it is required to downsize the number of employees into the organizations so uh, restructuring is considered as one of the major phenomenon into the human resource management second is mergers and acquisitions the implication of merger or acquisition on pay and condition of employment uh, do not seem to be considered seriously enough which is the most uh, take over battle however uh, these do not always live to expectations and one of the principal reason for the failure is demotivation of managers and staff so this issues has assumed increase increasing significance as globalization leads to mega managers between uh, the organizations starting from very different places in reward philosophy and spectrum so uh, merger and acquisition it's considered as one of the extreme uh, level of phenomenon in the human resource management because the degree to which staff are affected by a merger or acquisition does of uh, course vary at one extreme the holding company adopts completely hands off approach leaving the acquired company to run its own business moving to the next part of this uh, uh, mergers and acquisition checklist so what are the uh, contents of mergers and acquisition checklist that we are going to study number 1 is executive rewards number 2 is uh, salary structure number 3 is general salary reviews fourth is performance management and performance related pay salary administration procedures profit sharing schemes pension schemes other schemes and trade unions or staff association as one company is taking over the another company definitely these changes are going to be happen in the in, in in both of the companies so the company who which is planning to take over the another company they have to execute the policies of the previous company which is nothing but uh, which are nothing but the executive rewards salary structure general salary review reviews performance management and performance related pay next is what are the current issues in compensation management that we are going to study so uh, the compensation management is uh, one of the important concept because uh, compensation includes basically financial and non financial uh, uh, compensation and that is why it is necessary to understand what are the current issues in compensation management so number one is internal and external equity balance between financial and non financial rewards reward is one of the most important thing which is required for motivating the employees into the organization so that either that can be financial or non financial linking pay with work performance desire to lead elitism or egalitarianism pay reviews employee participate and social concerns so uh, now we are going to understand what are the challenges in compensation management emergence of innovative job designs relevance of money as a uh, prime minister lack of objectives in the fixation of pay structure political and legal challenges difficult in fixing compensation for distant and critical skills balancing organizational and individual needs ethical issues in pay fixation so these are the challenges in compensation management next is the most important part ethics ethics means manners now what are the uh, ethics which is right or wrong and what are the ethics in compensation management that we are going to study so to an organization ethics means the set of rules and reg uh, regulations or principles with which it will conduct its operations the compensation and incentive issues are vital for organization because employees do not like to be treated unfairly and unfairness causes design necessary ethics justice and fair treatment practices so compensation has to paid uh, to the employees at the right time uh, and to the right employee as per the competencies and as per the skills of that particular employee the research shows that the organization which treat their employees fairly have lesser complaints about unethical behaviors uh, there can be various ethical issues in terms of hiring performance evalu performance evaluation discipline and termination as they all involve fairness and dignity of an individual so basically in all the aspects of hr 
there has to be uh, certain uh, what we can say the ethics so uh, every uh, organization should follow the ethics in compensation management for the fair payment of the salaries for the fair payment of the compensation to each and every employee into the organization moving to the next part of the presentation now we are going to study what are the hr ethics uh, hr ethics activities so hr manager should ensure every time the ethical behavior of the employees or among their employees by enforcing following activities so what are the activities hr ethical activities number one is staffing and selection number two is training number three is performance appraisal and number four is rewards and disciplinary system performance appraisal now what is meant by performance appraisal performance appraisal is nothing but evaluation of the performance of the employee uh, which can be done periodically periodically either uh, six monthly performance appraisal can uh, be done of the employee or yearly performance appraisal plis are also there which is called as performance linked incentive schemes on the basis of the performance the employees can get uh, the good amount of pay as well as good amount of incentives into the organization so these are the hr ethical activities determining pay rates the compensation half of the employee uh, has to be determined more effectively so there are two basic components to direct financial components, indirect financial uh, components. So direct financial payments, wages, salaries, incentives, commissions, bonuses, which are called as direct financial uh, payments. Whereas uh, other financial benefits, which includes uh, the employer paid insurance and vacations, these are called as the indirect payments, which are given to the employees into the organization. So performance based um, incentives should be given to the employees so that employees will feel motivated. Uh, for example, we can take an example of auto automobile industry. Workers are compensated according to the number of uh, pieces produced by the worker. So another example of performance based compensation uh, can be of sales commission. Generally employers like to have combination of time based pay plus incentives. So incentives should be paid time to time to every employee into the organization so that they will feel motivated and they will get uh, they will their productivity will get increased their competency will get improved their skills will get improved and finally they can achieve the organizational goal and objective because the, every individual goal every individual objective is finally linked with the organizational goal and objective moving to the next part of the presentation that is equity and its impact on pay rates um, Basically, equity, it is necessary to understand or equitable pay has to be given to the employee into the organization. Uh, so, according to the motivation theory of equity, people want value fairness at work. So, HR manager need to balance four forms of equity, external, internal, individual, as well as the procedural. So, external equity defines the equivalence of companies job pay rate in relation to other companies see basically it is necessary to understand what actually the market is paying what the other organizations are paying to each and every employee into the uh, organization so external equity has to be studied and identified first whether the every employee is getting right amount of pay as per the current market rates or not then in the case of internal equity for example we can say if two uh, b -com or, uh, commerce candidates are working into the organization and if one is getting 10,000 and another is getting 15,000 and uh, they have same experience they have same qualification then definitely it, it is called as it, it can be injustice with the employee and finally employee can if the employee is good and definitely competent then finally employee can leave the organization so it is necessary to avoid all these things so that is why for avoiding all these things uh, internal equity is the basic thing which has to be implemented by each and every organization for example sales manager should uh, uh, should get an uh, good amount of salary good amount of commission or commission based pay has to be given to every sales manager into the organization because marketing people they are the people who are responsible for carrying the image of the organization in the market next is individual equity individual equity what is meant by individual equity individual equity is nothing but the equivalence of an individual pay in relation to the earnings of the co-workers for the same kind of job in an company in the company so it is necessary for every individual or every worker that they should get same amount of uh, payment same amount of uh, uh, salary or the compensation into the organization procedural equity procedural equity is nothing but expected fairness of processes and the procedures needed to make the decisions related to the compensation so that is why HR manager should follow all the ethical issues, all the equity issues in ethical way into the organization in order to maintain external equity as well as in order to maintain the internal equity. So HR manager should monitor time to time the salary structure 
salary structure of the organization which is considered as most important part most important phenomenon of the compensation management which is nothing but three p structure of the compensation because time to time uh, evaluation and time to time analysis of the p structure this three p structure definitely gives an opportunity to every organization to improve the current salary structure of the uh, organization because of which the employee will feel motivated and the productivity and the performance of the employees will get improved and uh, the finally the there will be more satisfaction and motivation into the organization among the employees because of which definitely the uh, goal and objective of the organization can be achieved so this brings me to the end of my presentation thank you so much